Hi, I'm Nina Drzezinski. I'm here in Port Townsend, Washington on the Nordso at the Wind Boat Festival with Pete Langley. So, Pete Langley, tell me about the Nordso Foundation. The Nordso Foundation is an environmental, educational, and hands-on plastic recovery mission. So we are going to go out into Puget Sound and beachcomb and remove plastic that is a phenomenal, big tragedy of part of our society today. People don't realize how much it's impacting our oceans and killing sea life, as well as jeopardizing a whole ecosystem. As things progress with this project, we'll end up having some other vessels to take uh, volunteers to the beaches, help, and we're going to look for hot spots around Puget Sound that we can go help other communities clean their beaches. This whole nonprofit is being developed in that resource to get people uh, awareness of up and beyond where it is currently. Most of the plastics thrown in the ocean are not necessarily from boaters. They're downstream. They're coming down in forms of bottle caps, Bic lighters, syringes, you name it and they're ending up in the Pacific Gyre which is now a tremendous problem and will be an ecological disaster for both everything from albatross that are on Midway Island to many many other sea creatures that now can't feed even their young because the food sources are now clogged with plastic. How did this all get started? Well, this, this project got started with a uh, fellow by the name of Martin King, who owned Nordso previously as a memorial to him and to some of his efforts he had done in the past with his company, Ex Biblio. We wanted to honor Martin and create this environmental project here locally. So you're like, you're like the garbage men for the beach. Well, that's what we hope to be. We want to be proactive and hands-on. So how did you get, how'd you get into the plastic? Well, the plastic's always been a pet peeve of mine because I've been raised on boats since I was three years old. Also uh, raised on a boat called the Catalyst, which was the first oceanographic vessel for the state of Washington. So always been interested in making sure that the environment and the culture and the life of living aboard is not tainted by those that say liveaboards are dirty or the other. It's usually we're the ones out being willing to pick up the mess that others are uh, unfamiliar with the lifestyle or the culture seem to disregard that once the water or the plastic disappears or it's out of sight it's really still out there causing harm and damage to our marine environment. How long have you been doing this? Well, the Nordso Foundation just recently got started, so we're actually in a very startup form. We're going to be operating Nordso out of uh, Point Hudson here in Port Townsend, as well as its offices will be in the Cupola House, so people can get eventually get to us through, uh, through those type of contacts. Eventually the website will be brought up. They'll be able to website us. We're going to look for a number of people throughout the boating community, both cruisers, commercial operations, to help us spot different uh, may say hot spots where there may be plastics that they saw on their trip but couldn't get to and then we'll form a mission to go out and find it pick it up and get it returned and get it recycled into the right thing how do people find out more about this uh, well they can call us uh, myself which is 360 385-4510 is the Cupola House's phone number. Uh, they can also reach us through uh, my current website, which is ptf at olipin.com, which is for Port Townsend Foundry, which Port Townsend Foundry is also helping to facilitate some of the needs and assets that we're going to go into this organization. How do I get on this trip? How do you get on this trip? Well, we're going to eventually have an e email sign-up list for people to be able to schedule times. Uh, Nordso is really going to be our flagship. We're going to use it kind of a combination between taking dignitaries or VIPs, environmentalists, as well as graphic uh, and uh, video reporters to actually document what we're going and doing and being able to bring that and help us share with the rest of the general public what's going on out there. So you'll be one of our first candidates to get the uh, uh, first ride and interview of the first beachcombing app. Woo! Great! I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Pete Langley. I'm Nina Drzinski. You got it here first. Port Townsend Insiders. We'll get you.